Hey guys, this is Luke with Anytime Fitness and we're gonna go over the ironclad pull-up plan. So we wanna help you guys be able to do a pull-up within six weeks. So I'm just gonna get right to it and this is going to be your warm-up. Your warm-up's gonna be swimmer rows and it's also going to be the lat pull-down. We're gonna combine these exercises. So we have Stacy right here and she's gonna do the swimmer rows for us. Keep your arms nice and straight and bring it all the way to your hips. Good. You're gonna use a resistance band and you can attach it anywhere you like. So we'll go straight to that. We'll do that for about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna to come to the lat pull down and do those for about 30 seconds. Bring it all the way to your collarbone. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and you're good to go. That's your warm up. We're doing that three rounds, 30 seconds each exercise. All right guys, so for the first set of drills, this is gonna be done in weeks one through two. You're gonna do this two to three times a week. And make sure you have a nice tight resistance band for these exercises. And you should get, you know, heavier resistance bands, adding more every week because you wanna build that strength so that you can pull your body weight. So, we're gonna start with some resistance band pull downs. You're gonna do 15 of these, keeping those shoulders squeezed right there, driving those elbows back. Then you're gonna to switch to the next exercise, which is gonna be a bent over vertical pull. So it looks horizontal, but you're actually, since you're bent over, it's still a vertical pulling motion. You're gonna do 15 of those, all right? It's gonna tighten that core and those stability muscles that are needed for the pull up. And then you're gonna switch after doing 15 of those, you're gonna go straight to the lat pull down. 15 of these. So it's gonna be three sets of 15, and that's gonna be your first two weeks, okay? Remember to add weight to the lat pull down. If you can do 15, then try to add some weight so that it's really hard for you to finish the set, okay? We'll do three sets of that, and then we'll go on to our next drill in two weeks. All right, so for your second set of drills, this is gonna be done week three through four. We're gonna use resistance bands to do negative pull-ups. Now, here's what negative pull-ups are. You're gonna put your foot in the resistance band. This is gonna assist us. And you wanna start the pull-up at the top. So, we got a little stool for Stacy, and then she's gonna jump up and then slowly let herself back down, nice and slow. She can put her foot right there, now, not all of you will be able to do a pull-up using the resistance band yet. So she'll just put her foot down and then jump up back at the top. And then negative, come down. Focus on the movement going down and not the movement going up, okay? So you might need a stool that's a little higher. All right, so next thing we'll do is come down. Be very careful with the strap that I can up. And then we're going to come right here and do some mixed grip lat pull down. So you'll have one palm facing you, the other palm facing the other way, and then pull that. And that's it. All right, so the last drill set that you're gonna do two to three times a week, this is gonna be done weeks five through six. It's gonna be a resistance band assisted pull up, and you're also gonna do negatives without the resistance band to build that. All right, so foot right here, and then we're going to go ahead and do the full pull-ups, just like that. And then, once you step back on the box, we're gonna get rid of this band, get it out of the way. And then Stacy is going to do some negatives. So she's gonna start at the top, using the box to jump up, steady herself, and then slowly come down. <laughs> using the box to jump up every single time, just like that. All right, so guys, at the end of all of this, you should be able to do a pull-up, all right? I believe in you, and if you need anything, you can check out the blog on anytimefitness.com. Have a good one.